guys, welcome back to A Level Lessons. All right, in this video, we're going to be covering the last part of deforestation, um, looking at the strategies to manage tropical deforestation. So in the previous parts, we have already covered everything else with regards to deforestation. For example, the causes of deforestation, the effects as well of deforestation. So let's just sum it up nicely with what are some of the strategies that we can employ. So the first strategy that we can use would be selective logging. So logging essentially is... Um, it's a cause, right? It's a cause. Excessive logging is a cause of deforestation. So we can actually pursue this thing called selective logging in order to try and um, prevent you know, excessive logging from taking place. Right? How does this work? We can essentially pass a law or regulation whereby only certain trees right, of a certain size or age are allowed to be cut down. Right? So by doing so, younger trees are prevented from be, uh, being cleared away Right, ensuring that there is safer management of the entire forest. Right, so we only allow those trees that are maybe past 100 years old to be chopped off instead. Um, we select which trees can be logged. So this is done via the tagging of trees, for example, right, in order to identify the various types of trees, their types and their age as well. Next, we have reforestation. So reforestation is basically the opposite of deforestation. We're essentially introducing, we're reforesting the area. So we're introducing trees um, into the area by planting new trees, right? So by doing so, um, we can replace those that have been deforested, right? Any of the trees that have been destroyed. Uh, the only issue with reforestation is that it's a very, very long process, right? It takes a very long period of time um, in order for trees to grow. So this would be a long-term um, policy or strategy that can be employed because it takes time for us to have all these um, trees um, grow and in order for us to see the effects of them, right? So it's a long and tedious process, right? Even to plant, the trees themselves will also take a very, very long time. Okay, next we have protection and conservation. So this involves um, the implementation of environmental laws right, that prevents the logging of trees. So we're essentially putting in a regulation to even halt um, the, the cutting down of trees. Right? So we can ban illegal logging um, and you know, basically punish those who choose to pursue deforestation. Right? So this protects the forest by preventing deforestation directly. Um, conservation efforts right, in the form of construction of national parks, nature reserves, right, they also help to conserve the forest. Right, we're essentially uh, reserving the forest, certain parts of the forest. That's why it's called a nature reserve. Okay, and it prevents logging activities from taking place in these cordon off areas. Right, so this may require further maintenance and regulations as well. Just a little side effect that may come into um, effect down the road. Next, we have international policy. So let's look on a global scale, on an international scale, what can we do? So we can Im implement certain programs, right, such as um, a very, very common framework that a lot of people um, would have heard before. is known as the RED plus, some of them have a plus, right? It's known as the Reducing Emissions from Deforestation and Degradation Program, right? It's introduced by the United Nations, right? They're the ones who are always into all these environmental um, conservation strategies. And they basically encourage the less developed countries to curb deforestation by offering certain incentives, right? Be it on their debts, be it on their uh, society, you know, benefits and all, all of this kind of stuff. So this can be a policy, a framework that is implemented worldwide um, in order to try and achieve um, this uh, lesser rate of deforestation. Um, as well, alongside this um, RED Plus program, right, we also have the SDGs, right? We have learned this before, your Sustainable Development Goals. So SDG 15 is actually titled Life on Land. Um, it essentially an encourages everyone to um, adopt national and international efforts to protect and restore forests. So this is a goal, right? It's a framework that encourages people, um, puts them in the right direction to essentially help mitigate um, deforestation. So they are important, right, in all, all in all for international policies because they essentially steer the world into the right direction, right? They can help um, to lead us into the correct direction of what we should be implementing when it comes to helping us to fight this issue of deforestation. Uh, but it may be hard to track if countries are progressing or not, right? Because every country will implement their own policies and not every country will do it, right? For the sake of economic development, they may choose to still pursue deforestation. So these are things that you may want to consider. 
So exam requirements is quite simple, just be able to explain and discuss the various strategies used to combat and curb deforestation. So um, I actually go through this in class and we've actually started tuition for some of you guys who may be interested. So you can check out elevellessons.com for more information on this. Um, I'll be going through exactly how you write an essay for deforestation um, and even greater details on all of these um, strategies that can be used to combat deforestation. So I'll leave a link in the description below. Go check it out if you're interested. And if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys did learn something. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already done so. Any questions, you can always leave it in the comment section below. If not, I'll see you guys in the next part. Have a good one. Bye-bye.